Hi, I'm John McAuliffe, Chief Marketing Officer of VFM Leonardo, and welcome to the VTV channel. VTV is a weekly series of interviews with industry experts on the latest topics in travel e-business, and specifically online merchandising practices that help hoteliers extract more value out of their online presence. As always, we encourage you to email us at vtv at vfmleonardo.com to suggest topics that you would like us to cover in future episodes. Today, I'm joined by Tom O'Rourke, the President and CEO of O'Rourke Hospitality Marketing, an award-winning hotel marketing firm serving clients worldwide. Tom's expertise is in hospitality marketing and internet marketing strategy, with nearly two decades of strategic marketing experience as a successful entrepreneur. O'Rourke Hospitality is a proven expert in hotel marketing and provides a complete range of marketing services to global hospitality brands, including Marriott International, Renaissance Hotels, Wine Gardener in Hammonds, Hilton Hotels, Holiday Inn, and Sawgrass Golf Resort and Spa. Tom, thank you for joining us and welcome to VTV. Hey, thanks you, John. I appreciate that, uh, having me on today. Uh, our topic today uh, is I have a video, now what do I do? And I think what we're going to try to, to um, uh, discuss is um, what hoteliers can do to use that video to both uh, drive p traffic, travel shoppers to, to view their hotel and to convert them into bookers. So having video produced is, is really just the first step. Uh, hotels also need to have it available to travel shoppers wherever they research hotels online. What advice can you offer for promoting hotel videos online? I think, John, that the, the first step, and this is a very important step for any hotelier, is to take the video when it's produced and make sure it's either on your blog or on, on your own website. And the reason that is, is because that's, that's, the, that's your home base. And, and, and everything you do from there in terms of using social platforms to get people back to view, it all begins in that space. So that's the first step. Get it on your blog, get it on your website. The next thing I would do is I would send a tweet out about it. Whatever the content is for the video, send a tweet. And that has possibly these days can show up under the, the latest news section if the keyword search is correct. Mm -hmm. um, the next thing I would do is I'd get it on my YouTube channel and, and make it available there. I would post it on my Facebook. After that, I would go to uh, sites like TubeMogul. And, and TubeMogul are a great, great free service that will syndicate your videos out to many other sites. So now you've taken a video from, from your blog or your website and you've sent it in a lot of different directions to entice users to come back and, and, and consume that content. Um, some of the other things that you can do is, is share it. Get it onto other, other sites like Delicious and StumbleUpon and bookmark sites and just uh, keep sharing it out there and you'd be very surprised as you go about a month or two months afterwards and you look at the views that these are visits that you would never have had if you never use these platforms to get the word out. Um, Tom, not every um, video is obviously going to be relevant to every travel shopper. For example, if you have a video about um, golf packages offered at your hotel, uh, it will likely be more relevant to certain segments of shoppers. How can hotels ensure their videos are in front of the right travel shoppers? I think that goes back to, you know, whether you're a hotelier and you're working with a search agency or, or whatever, what you need to understand is it's all about thinking of what the travel shopper is looking for. And then you need to generate your content around what the travel shopper is thinking about as opposed to just generating content for the sake of it. An example of that is uh, you're, you're doing a, a, a wedding video. You make sure that after it's produced that you optimize that site for the keywords so that when people do perform a search query that it's targeted towards that segment. And certainly um, uh, segmenting them uh, based on the types of sites that, uh, that actually offer that type of thing um, is, uh, is a smart way to, to go about making them more relevant. Um, one of the things that, that, that uh, we have noticed is um, when you talk about uh, online travel agencies or, or TPIs as some people call them, like the Travelocities of, uh, of the world, um, and, and we do know that uh, 
Uh, a lot of people use OTAs for more than just booking uh, travel online. In fact, um, in a recent TIA study, uh, they found that 66% of people indicated that their primary um, uh, online channel for shopping for travel online was an OTA, uh, whereas only 39% of people actually booked there. Uh, but one of the things that's interesting about OTAs is that, that price is prominent. Um, does a video... Uh, and other form of content, whether that's visual or textual, help to um, have that hotel stand out? Does it help communicate value and or justify price? What's your view on that, Tom? I think it really helps to communicate greater value because you and I know that when we go to these OTAs, and let's say, if, for example, I'm looking for a hotel in Manhattan. I can plug in, I can just check off hotels and do a search based on the dates I want to be there. And you'll get, uh, say, 10 or I think it's 10 different results on that page. And it's very clear that it's all price related to the right. And then on the left, you've got static photos. I think if you had video in where those photos are, you've got a much better shot of people engaging with you and your brand that you, you understand a little bit more about who you are. I've gone through this process myself, John, and I, I've noticed that when I click on the photos, I'll see an exterior uh, view of the building. I'll see an interior lobby shot, a room shot. But you know the one thing it's not giving me? It's not giving me the, the energy of what's going on in a neighborhood. And I can't start to align what I'm looking for in my lifestyle and my needs to the property. So photography is great, but it, it has its limitations. And I think today OTAs need to start embracing more and more the use of photography because it's and it's not just pushing photography, it's what the consumer wants. Sure. It's what the consumer wants. And, and the consumers, uh, clearly by, by the increase in, in sites like YouTube and, and, uh, and the like, um, uh, consumers are looking for richer visual experiences. And um, uh, I, I, I guess I hear you're saying that that could be the differentiating point between yourself and other hotels uh, online. I think it could definitely be the uh, be the difference because you know even if there's a five or ten dollar difference in price and I've offered you something a little bit with with more rich richer format and given you a better feel of the neighborhood by focusing more on my video on the destination you might spend that extra ten dollars to come with me. All right. um, Tom, thank you very much for joining us on uh, VTB today. We uh, enjoyed your insights and uh, look forward to having you on again. Thank you, John. I appreciate it, as always. To all the viewers out there, be sure to post your comments on this episode of VTV and subscribe to our feed to receive more valuable insights from industry experts.